Welcome to another video tutorial from 3dgameartguru.com. I'm working in Affinity Designer and would like to show you some of the features that the symbols offer. We want to create something like this and be able to do things like these. Basically, we want one symbol that controls the rest even though they are not identical. Let's start with a simple shape. I like to use the star for that. Alter it a little bit and make it a symbol. Go to View Studio Symbols and we create a new symbol. Give it a different color gradient and then duplicate it to create the smaller ones that we saw in the sample prior. And once we have those in place, they are all identical. So if I change the color of the main one, it will change the colors of all. Now if I turn the sync off, I can give each of the stars a unique color. Turning the sync back on will link them again. So if I make changes to the shape, or the skew or the rotation of the symbol shape it will reflect on all of them i can make alterations to the look by giving it a stroke and it will reflect on all of them i can say scale with object and the smaller scales will be scaled accordingly i can add to the shape as long as I work within the symbol and then turning the sync off again, I can recolor that element to match the existing star shapes. Turning the sync back on afterwards allows me to change the position and the scale for all the circles that we just created. I can change the parameters of the object. I can turn it into a donut or can turn it into a pie. There are limitations. If I change a shape, for example, to a curve, all my copies will revert to the original color of the object I just changed. Now that my shape is a curve, all the note changes I want to make to my star will be reflected by the copies. So if I turn this it will make the changes if I go in and move just a single note it will do the same for my copies the same will happen if I go into one of the smaller ones and make changes it does change all including the big one this works fine as long as all the curves are identical if I change one object while having the sync off and then turn the sync back on, it will not react anymore. There's a lot more you can do with the symbols, but I'll leave it at this. I hope you enjoyed this quick glimpse into the abilities of symbols. If there are questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will try and answer them or cover them in a future video. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you again soon.